a look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Councillor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What your old man paid college tuition for? You ought to meet Joe's buddy. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. You boys. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Mark here. Maker's Mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The purpose having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bish Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. All your letters are genuine, and the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one, man. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity.
You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings under our hat. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Nice day, gentlemen. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. take any money wasn't any to take i found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat not much else you're under arrest jameson we'll see how this plays out until then you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead i'm telling you it's not illegal me and some friends of mine Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell i'll deal with him later sure rusty What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. Someone at Mensch's will remember her. Someone was trying to get her to come home. go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. 
Keystone Studio lot, closed back in 41. Nice day, gentlemen. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? You read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's OK, then. Armies can't fight without food spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? do for you. LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins. Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Got some fine stocking, Mr. Robbins. Well, you let us taste them for the road. This case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never going to work out, was it? We'll take a look around. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. 
only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Graham. A lot of cops pull there on Tuesday nights. Exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. We are struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Yeah, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers? 
and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A Renaissance man like yourself, lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it, as if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Car 11K, car 11K, come in. Car 11K, car 11 King, KGPL. 11 King. A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. 11 King, in route. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. Your marriage, and yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. Well, you don't see that every day. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey who will blow the bar. I'll meet you outside. I swear, 
This town is going straight to hell. I don't need this. That's the guy. I hear he's an honest cop. Now, there's an oxymoron for you. Hey, don't mind me. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thank you. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with it? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. George Washington for the first motion picture. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> What's your shoe size? We're conducting an investigation, ma'am. Do you know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I should. Maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? James Tierney. He's a pin set. One day he introduced me to a lady after work. Stuck in my mind. Older, too old for him. Where can we find Jimmy Clark? He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, ma'am. Let's go get him. Tiernan! LAPD! Get after it! We might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. These are flashy cars to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires! Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! That is the end of that! It's about fucking time! Show me your hands. Help, here's a gun. That's the cop from the newspaper. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Caffrey is in apartment six.
Doesn't look like anybody's home. <sighs> he said he was at home. He said he didn't know. And we have the book. I see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Grosvenor McCaffrey! Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Runner McCaffrey, stay and fight the good fight. under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be the captain. Unless Terranen set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Eh, whoever did it. So what's that Dahlia fuck? How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. Sure, you can make it stick with one of these suspects, Jeff. It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young folks. I 
I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? McCaffrey gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Last night, we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was this? Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it? She wanted something of his. hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute, but you know, I'm not so sure. You and Evelyn were drinking together last night, and she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. You're lying, Tiernan. You've been fighting with her. You fought and- I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. She told the liquor store owner, you're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. She wanted to care for me. But she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. Uh, McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero, and McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. I kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? Well, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin-setting machines. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can be very cruel. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my sack. Thank you. 
You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? You're going to have to do better than that, detective. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment? I don't believe you, Grosvenor. The evidence says that you killed her. You can prove that I wanted to kill Evelyn? Will there be much more of this? It's just that I wanted to get home and work. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. He almost beat the woman to death. Thanks, ma'am. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country! I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch! What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot, Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard.
Most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Then we rally with the first. The try for the Nambus. It's sheared to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Nambus and inflate. Mate, we can I lose everyone. Sent the lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? My company, 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by boarding the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. No one else but the killer knew about this message. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. If the note is from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Tarleton murder, not to mention the Muller Hang case. on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers will be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. Well, yet I knew this run was too good to be all. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? It's supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want? It Where are you to... going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Would it be that easy? Can somebody right? tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. You're behind the wheel. All those cases, Rusty. What have I been telling you all along? You gotta get this guy. I know. Enough women have died. Yeah, and it's our asses on the line too, Phelps. You heard what the captain said. The department is not going to take responsibility for all those bad convictions. Success is a double-edged sword. Let's just get this sick pervert and have it done with. Grown with trailing odorous plants which curtain out the dead. 
Where next? Elizabeth Short. Betty Short. Black Dahlia. Elizabeth Short's social security card. Jesus Christ. That's not all. There's another stanza from Shelley. Can you work it out? You got a city map? See if you can work out where he's taking us. I don't like this freak leading us around by the nose. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Him. It's really him. The fuck who killed the Dahlia. Can you believe this? He's leading us. It's his game, Rusty. He may want someone to catch him, but he's extremely dangerous. I doubt if he will give up easily. Suits me down to the fucking ground. We clip this fuck and we get citation. <laughs> what a day to be a cop. Tends to push the park and get the stuff inside. Can I help you, sir? Detectives, LAPD. This is very important, sir. How do we get to the top of the chandelier? You what? Have a little faith, pal. We're in a real hurry. Head up to the top floor. There's an access panel and a ladder in the maintenance room. out there, Rusty. Better you than me. Be careful. Could be a trap.
Deirdre Muller's missing watch. From the temple's high of man's ear and eye, roofed over sculptures and posy. Where have I seen that? you climb, the further you fall. Let's get out of here. Another Dahlia clue? No. A yellow gold wristwatch. The Molar Dame. Yes. And a scrap of the poem. Another location. If I can work it out.
You can drive. He keeps mementos from all his victims. This guy needs to be taken out of circulation. He takes pleasure at stringing us along, demonstrating how much smarter he is. He can enjoy it while it lasts. Got you now, genius. Coming for you. Here, Cole. I'm not hauling myself up there. Go get it, Tiger. It'd slow me down anyway, old timer. Sometimes a step backwards is a step in the right direction. Antonia's necklace. Round which death laughed, sepulchred emblems of dead destruction, ruin within ruin. This is a treasure hunt. What is it this time? The religious medal from the Maldonado case. The Dahlia, Moeller, Maldonado. When this gets out... We still have to find the guy, Rusty. Another poem. Well, you must have some idea, right? Come on, Phelps. We're on a roll here. Don't let me down.
Hill won't buy me something nice. I'll find him when you're good. That's the guy from the papers. Solved that big case. You know the way. You can drive. We're going to catch hell for this, banging up innocent men. The newspapers will crucify the guy. They won't have time to wonder about our mistakes. We'll be okay, Rusty, as long as we catch the guy. I hope you're right, Cole. We'll be famous if we make this case. These are my best shoes, Phelps. I'll leave you to it. Very funny. trying to get across this thing. Steady. of my thinking. as many thousand spheres. Okay, where to now? What is it? An open-toed white shoe and another stanza from the poem. Oh, I really thought that hobo bun did the perils from Ron. Confession from the insane aren't the most credible evidence, Rusty. This thing over? It's all part of his power over us, making us run round all over the city for the crumbs he's leaving. So if we keep this up, we can find the guy?
You're behind the wheel. So this guy looks out for women in bars who've had too much to drink, who are emotionally disturbed. He just shows them to cry on, he plies them with booze. Probably offers them a lift home. Then beats their brains out and strangles them. Could be any schmo hanging out at the bar. No, not anyone. He displays the bodies, leaves us messages. For all the violence, it's very controlled behavior. Peacetime soldiers wild as gleam. On it goes. What do you think we'll reach the end of this thing? Could this be the cop they've been talking about on the radio? Or another accommodation? You ever been in here, Gallo? No. I have no intention of going in. I heard that thing's tricky. I'm on the way here and have a quiet smoke. Think about hidden meetings. belonging to Celine Axford Henry. Thrones, altars, judgment seats, and prisons. No, it couldn't be. See? That was easy. I found Celine Henry's ring. How far does this thing go? How did we not catch this nut job?
cop they've been talking about on the radio? Can you drive to this one? He's leaving us this trail of evidence. What? Vanity. He wants to see if there's anyone out there smart enough to catch him. He leaves us evidence, but every location is a trap. He's testing us, physically and mentally, to see whether we are worthy of him. The Titan guy. You have the stouts with God. Very good. You thinking about reading some Shelley? <laughs> All that egghead stuff? Uh, I'm sticking to the funny papers in the form guy to sleep better. There's a throne up there. Now it's the matter of getting a feel. Now look what you did. Hang on, Paul. I'll get you off of there. You gotta make it to the next platform. Get that thing as close as you can, then jump. He calls home. End of the line. so too. He murdered Evelyn Summers, Rusty. The last trophy was her ring. Find another piece of the poem? Yes. The last piece. You sure, Cole? Let's find out.
You know the way. You can drive. Reminds me of my days as an altar boy. There's a light coming from the house. Nothing hasty, gentlemen. Keep your hands where I can see them, or I'll be forced to redecorate the stucco with your entrails. We're from the LAPD, sir. I'm going to tell you only once to lower your weapon. The LAPD, you say? Is it really possible you could have found me after all this time? How interesting. Put down the gun, shitbird. Last warning. This boorish ignoramus could never have found me. It was you, wasn't it? Do you remember me, detective? The temp bartender. Yes, you found me. You know what I'm capable of, and yet you walk in here like lambs dressed for the slaughter. We'll see about that. Where did he go? Down the tunnel? We can't let the son of a bitch get away. The house, Rusty. There must be another entrance into the house. LAPD! Give yourself up! the cruel gods. This guy thinks he's doing the same thing. Defying gods can be hazardous to your health. You realize this must have been a place, Rusty. We're going down there. I'll go. Call for backup and keep an eye out above ground and see where this thing comes out. Don't let me down, Rusty. You're an interesting man, Detective. Why the police force? You're obviously overqualified. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Do I get a sense you're looking for personal redemption? Do you think we have something in common? Where's the press, Cap? I think Phelps and I should get a medal for this. This has got to be the case of the year, right? The case of the century, when you think about it. Are you finished? Yes, Skipper. Good. Because there won't be any press briefings or commendations. 
What are you talking about? We got the werewolf, the guy who killed the Dahlia, killed all the other broads. You got no one. Mason was a ghost. Can you at least tell us why, Captain? Mason is the half-brother of one of the most highly elected officials in this country. How high? Beyond the moon for mere mortals like us, Rusty. There'll be no more mention of him. The city owes you both. But there'll be no mileage in ever bringing this up again. What's going to happen to the suspects in the cases, Captain? I won't be a part of that. A bit of missing evidence at the grand jury. A procedural error here. A mistake there. They'll all be quietly let go. The DA knows how we have to play it. That's it? I'm afraid it is. And I have some news for you, Phelps. No more rooting around in the entrails of cadavers and corpses for you. The head of vice has asked the chief for you. I'm reluctant to see you go to the glory boards of that vice, but my hands are tied. Go home to that lovely wife of yours. Celebrate your promotion. Kid, you'll go purple. I'm scared, Sarge. Everybody's scared, kid. Anyone who says he isn't is a damn liar. How many times have you been in combat, Sarge? I was with Raider Battalion on Peleliu my first time. Was it bad? It's always bad. Will this be bad? As bad as it gets, kid. But you stick by the Marine next to you, and he will stick by you. So, some of the guys, they aren't very friendly, Sarge. They've lost a lot of their friends in the last couple of days, kid. They think if they don't get to know you that they won't have to grieve for you if you get killed. They're wrong. It doesn't work that way. Don't worry. No Marine in this company will let you down. 